Hey Deckers, Midnight Suns is finally playable again, and I say playable very loosely. Now this is not without its issues, and some gave me a major headache. So it recently received two updates fairly close together. The first one fixing some Steam Deck issues around the virtual keyboard, stability fixes and save fixes, as well as finally enabling Cloud Sync. And then we had another update which was more general to fix a load of issues with the DLC and some other bits and pieces. So this is now working out of the box and I was able to load save games into the Abbey. However, I have lost all of my save games from before once again. This has happened twice now. And I got this error message when I started up the game about legacy local saves detected. No option to move it to the cloud only to move, delete, or skip. Originally, I moved this, assuming that this was syncing with the cloud saves, and when I started the game, I had no games to load. Not happy about that, so be warned. From what I've seen on Twitter, it seems to be around 50-50 whether you update to this and keep your save games or lose them, so just be aware of that. However, once you do start the games now, you do have all your save games intact, and I verified that with checking it out on GeForce Now as well. So the settings I've been running here to test out is keeping the frames per second at 60, putting the AMD FSR quality on ultra quality and changing the master quality down to medium. Now the other bugbear I have is this doesn't seem to remember the graphic settings between restarts, but it does remember the video settings. So you have to change this every time. Medium preset and motion blur off. Now in most of the matches, you'll see it bouncing between 40 and 60 frames per second and that wattage up into the 27 and 28. So for the most part, this is actually very nice and playable. A lot of the stutter has gone, although we do see those big frame dips. But playing this is actually a nice experience on the Steam Deck now. One thing to note is they have forced DirectX 11, so you've got no way of running DirectX 12. And there's some funky issues with the menus, trying to skip over some of the disabled fields where it gets stuck and you'll need to use the Steam and trackpad to emulate the mouse to actually select one of the boxes you're trying to change. Other than that, FSR still looks pretty hideous in this game for me, even on the ultra quality mode, so I'm not going to be recommending that as my settings. Instead, my recommended settings is to go and turn the AMD FSR off, so you've got no upscaling at all, and change the Steam Deck to 40 hertz and enable V-Sync in the game. Now you will have a much more stable game all round, but we still waver under 40 frames per second with some of the big effects as you saw there. And it also gets a lot worse as we go back to the Abbey, but we'll see that in just a second. Mostly though, playing around in the game, we do get a flat rate 40 frames per second and it does drop the wattage down just a couple. So it will give you around an hour and a half battery life quite happily for those away from power. Outside of the Abbey, this does actually run extremely well in that flat rate 40 with minor dips. However, back in the Abbey, even with these settings, we're dipping down into the sub 30 frames per second quite often. Even inside the building, running around, going to the fore, drawing in and out the bedroom, it does still dip into the 30s. So this does still have some major performance problems, but it's a lot more manageable now, and at least you can load the game. Final point, if you are having extremely long load times, then you're going to have to delete and reinstall the game. This wasn't a great re-performance test for me because I had to delete and reinstall the game after losing all my save games and then get back to this point to be able to test it properly. So if you haven't started Midnight Suns yet, it's a good time to pick it up to play. If you're halfway through a game, make sure you save or back up your save game locations in case it doesn't go to plan. Let us know in the comments below if you're still going to be picking up Midnight Suns or diving back in. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. And what have you been doing? Meet me by the cave just over there. The Bloodgate? The caretaker always told me to stay. I think we can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets.